Hello, good morning or good afternoon, whatever time of the day you're actually listening to this. This is another video for um, a practical session that I do in my plumbing workshop at college. Uh, so for anybody viewing this, uh, this is about how to install a radiator. There are loads and loads of ways. This is one that I would use. It works every time I've done it. Uh, it's correct to measurement. But as I say, if you've been taught otherwise, then that's great. Please don't hold it against me. And if you've got any views, then please share them with us. As I say, this is a, a video that I'm putting forward for my students in my college. Please look along and say if you enjoy it, then you know just press the like button, the usual stuff with YouTube. Um, what you can see at the moment though is a little black uh, pen mark. I'm going to talk to you a few, a few, a few pointers first and foremost. This radiator install is going to be placed onto a board that measures 800 millimeters wide by 600 millimeters deep. So I'm um, obviously just just mocking it up. Um, if you're going to place a radiator on the wall, you need to know that two or three things: how high the rad's going to be off the floor where it's going to be located on the wall or under a window but more importantly the center of the rad versus the center line that you're going to hang it from you must have a center line a line to work from uh, if the wall is three meters wide then 1.5 is the middle the measure the rad if the rad is 400 millimeters wide then 200 millimeter is the middle and you match those points up and you get your rad centrally to, to the wall uh, and we're going to go through that process now. As I say, uh, I'll tag on a couple of other options at the end. Um, but just, just for this particular scenario, I'm just hanging a radiator on a board that's been placed in a vise on my workbench. I've leveled the board off so the rad will sit level at the end. And I'm now just going to talk you through the process of how I do it. So the board is 800 mils wide. I've made a little mark here, 800 divided by 2, obviously 400, and placed a little marker pin. Point number 1. Do not use a marker pen on any customer's walls. It cannot be painted over, so you use a nice light pencil. Second point, the pencil line doesn't have to be as long as what mine's gonna be. It would just have to be the size of the radiator a little bit lower, so it hides behind the red. Nice light pencil line, so if you make an error, you can obviously rub it out, you can make a, a dotted line, but equally, you just need to make a line that's visible for you where, so you know where to hang. We're going to be talking about a few sentences here, like bracket line, center line. I want you to envisage an American goalpost. It's not a UK rugby goalpost, so it's going to be a line that goes up, then a horizontal line left to right, and at those two ends, a vertical line that goes up. And you'll see that in a second. Okay, so the next slide here is, I've now got my line here, I've got my spirit level. Now, what we've done here is, if you look, that to the naked eye, that bubble looks in the middle. It is not. What we're looking for is to absolutely be between the two lines here so we can get our line going from top to bottom or, or vertically. So this will give me a good idea as to where the center of my rad's gonna end up. Okay, so let's look to do that. Now you can see there's my vertical line. Obviously, it doesn't need to be that long as I've just said at the beginning. Place it smaller behind the rad so that you can see it but this is just for the video's purposes okay so what we're going to look at now as i said is the brackets the bracket line and high how high we want the radiator to be off of the floor and it really really is important to know these points um how high is the rad off the floor well if you're working in a house that's got radiators all around the rooms then measure those rads they look the same if it's in a new building site and there are no rads in the house whatsoever, look next door to see if they've hung them, then you can work off that guide or ask your boss. Or 200 millimeters, 150 millimeters, sometimes it's down to what the customer likes. Most times it's so the hoover can go underneath. Um, there are various different measurements, but I always like to say about 200 mil off the floor is roughly where the rad should be placed. As I say, sometimes it's a customer's preference, they want them a little bit higher. So let's just look at the rad brackets. Now, if this was the wall going along here, you can see this edge is shorter than this edge. And this would be where the rad would sit. So the rad on this particular type of bracket would sit further off the wall than this one. Now you can see the rad would sit on this point here and it would be closer to the wall. But what we're using for this exercise is this. The rad brackets must be the same way. And we're gonna be looking and focusing on this little point here because that point would be where my line would go down when I start to hang the brackets. Okay, let's move on a little bit further. So the bracket line now is what we're looking at, not the bottom of the rad. 
and we've jumped a little bit ahead of the lines here let's just uh, yeah let's just go back again this just shows you those two points now so this is the red with the short edge off the wall and this is the bracket with a long edge off the wall. So this is the one we're going to go for. This was just my center line that I drew at the beginning. This is not where we're going to screw the brackets. Okay, moving on to the next slide. As I've said, this is the bottom of the red. You can see that there. Now, if I wanted the red, say 200 millimeters from the floor to the bottom of the red, as you can see, the red bracket itself here sits on the radiator further up than the bottom and as you can see here I've got a measurement of about 80 millimeters so if I said the red's got to be placed 200 millimeters off the floor I'd have to add that 80 mils to it to get my bracket line so remember that turn the red over place the bracket the radiator wall bracket onto the red and measure that distance and add it to the height that you want the red to be placed okay so here's what we've got now for this particular exercise i want the red to be placed 150 mil off the floor okay it actually was 90 mil beg your pardon if we go back to that slide that's 90 mil. what you can't see it's about there maybe i'm about five or ten minutes out okay so i've put a little pencil mark here to show 150 mil off the floor i've added the 90 so that gives us 240 millimeters for those that are looking at this ruler if you just add a, add a zero to any of these these are in centimeters so add a naught add a naught gives us millimeters so 240 millimeters is going to be where my red bracket line is going to be so with a spirit level once again that line there that little mark is the bottom of the radiator that mark there is the bracket line where i'm going to fix the brackets to the wall so holding my spirit level closely, so I've now got the bubble right in the middle. I'm now going to draw a horizontal line from left to right. Remember, in pencil, and only to the width that you want the brackets to be. So it's just a little bit more than that, but certainly no wider than what the radiator is. Okay, let's just find out what that measurement is before we draw in the lines. Now I've got the center of the red here. This is the center line between the top and the bottom. And this is roughly the center between the red bracket and the red bracket. And I've moved the ruler, but it's about 160 millimeters on this particular one. Okay, so what we've got to remember now, there, let's just go back a couple of slides. That is the bracket line. This was my original center line. And we're going to draw a line left to right. But certainly no more than it's 160 millimeters across, so no more than 80 mil that way, and no more than 80 mil that way. But certainly you can go a little bit more because that's going to be behind the radiator itself. Let's just go forward again. So now I have drawn this horizontal line. Let's look at this little pop mark. That is the bottom of the red. This line up is going to be our bracket line. Okay. Now, remember when I said an American goalpost, the American goalpost goes up, then we've got the horizontal, and then we're going to have two poles going up either side here. So we now need to get those in. Now, we know from the previous slide that this is 160 mils wide. So 80 mil that way, we can draw a line. 80 mil that way, we can draw a line. Let's look to do that now. There's the mark, 160, pen mark either side. Using our spirit level again, making sure we are nice and level lines we draw two vertical lines and that's where the brackets are going to be hung okay now we have to take a look at our brackets and it's kind of very important that we get this bit right remember at this beginning we want the red brackets to be sat exactly the same so the red sits off the wall the same measurement okay let's get one of those red brackets now this is the short bit and I've placed it against the mark. Now, as you can see, the short bits come into the right of the mark. So the corner, if you like, of that bracket is on my pen line. I'm now going to mark. So we don't want it that way. It's got to be the other side, as we've got here. Let's look back. It's on the right-hand side of the line. It needs to go on that corner. Now, if we wanted to, short, to use the short edge, we'd flip it to this way. But equally, that line must sit in the corner of the red bracket, not up this side, like that. Okay, now we've got the red bracket on the bottom line. 
and it's running the pencil line the other side of there, which we can see. I've marked at the top hole, and I've marked at the bottom. Hole. I'm not going to use these grooves. I'm going to make sure it's fixed tightly into these two holes. And now I screw the bracket to the wall. Now, a little point to remember. There is a smaller hole and a bigger hole. You could use some washers behind. I did this a bit quickly, but what I would use if you're going to use the bigger hole uh, and the screw head could go through it, use a washer so it holds nice and tightly to the wall. Okay, remember point one, fix this first bracket, left or right, whichever way you want to do it, firmly to the wall. The second bracket is not fixed firmly to the wall just yet. Let's look at the second bracket now. So the second bracket, we're going to mark it up against that line. So my line is invisible behind the area. And as you can see here, we've got this groove here. I've made a mark. I'm now going to screw, there's a washer this time, just this one screw through. Not too tight, because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a spirit level on the other bracket and then onto this bracket and then level it up to make sure it's level. Because as you can see on this slide, I've got the left hand bracket just visible there and the spirit level bubble is not level. So what I've done now is still only one screw there. This is fixed, this is fixed. You can see it's all on the bottom line. This one is fixed. Once I've then got it level and I'm 100% happy, I tighten this screw up and then I place a screw in the bottom so it cannot move. So both brackets are now fixed fully to my wall surface. Okay, move on the slide. You can see now I've tightened this one up. All these old holes are just old, old screw points from an old board, so don't worry about those. This now is screwed really tightly, and you can actually now place a screw in there for just one more security measure. Okay, red brackets nice and level. And then what we then do is we hang the red, making sure that it is nice and level. And as you can see here, the bubble is right in the middle. So the level is, the radiator is level. And then the last thing we'll do is just double check the height from the floor. Okay, so there it is in its infancy. Now, what we can see, this was the base. And I think for this exercise, I wanted the rad to be 150 millimeters off the floor. You can see it's nice and level. I'll zoom in that and let's see if it works. Yep, you can see it's nice and level. I leveled the board off before we started because I know it's in a vice down here. Okay, and then I just want to sort of say then, there's the bottom of the rad. It's not very clear here because my camera is higher, but that's 150 mil off the floor, and there's the red valves there. Okay. Now, at the very beginning, what we wanted to talk about was um, a couple of points to remember. This red's going onto the wall, and then you're going to pipe it up afterwards, so it's very easy to mark the floor and then drill the holes to run the pipes for the floor and then etc. pipe it up to your fly and return. You may be sometimes where somebody's already done that and the pipes are coming through the floor or you may actually have to bring the pipes through the floor for yourselves for the rads. So just get the rad, get the valves on, put two bits of pipe either side and then you can measure center to center to get it accurate so you can have your drill points on the floor. Put the rad on the brackets and lay the rad on the floor as well and then you can measure from... So you've got to think about now that you turn the, the room sideways so you're laying the physical rad on the floor that you're standing on to get a high... Um, from from the from from the wall in this particular area to the centre out, so how far it would come off the wall, so you you can measure for accuracy. But anyway, that's how I hang a rad. Hopefully, you can do the same. And but the most important point, as I say, is to know that it's level from left to right, and you've got the correct height off the floor um, to make sure it's hung correctly. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you very much.